Global warming is a hoax. It's a lie. Hiya, folks. So, America is pretty cold. And so that, that, that disproves global warming. We're done. It's over. America has spoken. And sure, you could look at the global temperature map and see that this is not cold everywhere, even in other places in the Northern Hemisphere. But obviously, that's just because Russia outlawed gays, so all the gays went to America, and now America is disproportionately being punished by God for all the gays. Siberia, they, they got sandal weather, because God likes them now. Alright, so, um, now I'm, I'm not a scientist. That never stops global warming deniers, though, so <laughs> I'll, I'll just keep going. Um... So, not only does this not disprove global warming, it's actually caused by global warming. So, to understand why, you have to understand wind. So, the way wind works is there's cold air and there's warm air. And when cold air and warm air meet, they make wind babies. That's pretty much how it works. And and the, the sharper the difference in temperatures are between those two masses of air, the stronger the wind will be. And so for, for quite a long time, there's a really nice perfect circle around the Arctic of wind, super fast wind, where the Arctic air and the tropical air meet. And what's happened is that global warming has warmed the Arctic side just a little bit so that now the, the two sides are a bit closer in temperature and so the wind has slowed down. And as the wind has slowed down, it's gotten a little wavier. It's sort of drunk driving around instead of going in a perfect circle. And so that's why you have weird unseasonable dips so one year you might have what America has now, insane cold weather really early. Probably a little bit later in the year, America is going to find that it's really insanely hot for being winter because the winds have moved the air around. Right now, America is like in the middle of the, the North Pole. <laughs> so yeah, meanwhile, I'm hot here in Sydney. Got the AC on. Mm-hmm.